Hey, mathematicians, welcome back. We are going to look at some more subtraction problems. And just like in the quesadilla example, instead of building both fractions that we see in the problem, because we're subtracting, we're going to build the biggest fraction and we're going to take away the smaller fraction. So we're gonna model that right here in this problem. So it says the Miller family took a boating trip. They traveled three and five eighths miles on the first day and two and one eight miles the next day. How much further did they travel on the first day? So we see here, first of all, that we're missing our question mark because it's a question. So we wanna make sure that we put that in there so we know it's a question. But beyond that too, what we want to do is we want to build the big fraction and then just take away the smaller fraction because we're subtracting. So here I need to model three and five eighths so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use circles. So I am going to draw one, two, three, and then I'm going to take and build another circle, but I know I need to divide it up into eight equal parts because we're talking about five eighths. So if I take this and I build it like that, I have uh, my eight parts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And um, I know that I'm talking about five of those. So I'm going to color in five of those parts. And then we're gonna talk about how to take away the smaller fraction. So let me finish filling in. I know that's not completely equal, but it's a model. And I understand that I'm trying to represent five equal parts out of eight. So now I need to take away two and one eight. So I'm going to get rid of that part of this and I'm gonna see what I have left. So I get it rid of this one for one, get rid of this for two, and then I need to get rid of one eighth. So I'm gonna get rid of this right here. And what I want to do now is I want to count up what I have left. So I have one hole left, so that's one. And then I'm gonna count up how many green spots I have left and I have four, that's four out of eight. And then I always wanna look to see if I can reduce my fraction and I can divide this both by four. So I know that I can reduce this to one, four divided by four is one, and eight divided by four is two. So I'm left with one and one half mile would be my label for this particular problem. And again, we're subtracting, so we don't have to build both fractions. We just need to build one, take away the smaller fraction, and see what we have left. All right, now we're going to try another one, but this time we're going to have you do it on your own. So let's subtract 3 7 twelfths minus 2 and 5 twelfths. Let's start by drawing our model. Remember from our other problem that we don't need to draw both models. We just need to draw the larger fraction and then take away. Go ahead and pause your video and draw your fractions and then check back in. All right, so we have our fractions here. So we have three and seven twelfths represented. Now we're subtracting two. So I would like for you to pause your video. You've checked your model, so now you're good to go. Solve it and then check back in and see how you did. See you soon. Okay, let's go over how to subtract. So I'm subtracting my two, one, two, okay? And then I'll need to subtract my five twelfths. So I'll pop over here. One twelfth, two twelfths, three twelfths, four twelfths, five twelfths. Awesome. So now let's see what we have left after we took away two and five twelfths. I have one whole, write one. And then let's count how many twelfths we have left. Actually, I'm going to write twelfths because I know that that's how many pieces I have here. Okay, so I have one twelfth, two twelfths that have not been crossed off or eliminated. Now, I'm going to need to rename my fraction here because I know that it can be simplified. Let's think of a number that I can reduce or divide both my numerator and my denominator by. Did you say two? Great thinking. All right, so I know I'm gonna still have my whole, but I'm gonna divide both my numerator and my denominator by two. Help me out, two divided by two is 
one, awesome. 12 divided by two is six, great thinking. All right, mathematicians, thanks for your hard work today. All right, let's look at one more problem before you um, work on some problems on your own. It says the average Chinese alligator is six and one six feet long. The largest American alligator is 15 feet long. What is the difference in the length of these two alligators? So again, we want to build a model for our biggest um, number or fraction and take away our smaller one. So what I've done here is I've drawn 15 circles. They're not looking the greatest, but there's 15 circles here. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of six and one six. And now we have a problem because I can get rid of six. Let's just go ahead and do that part here. So I can get rid of one. Oops. I can get rid of one, two, three, four, five, six. But how do I get rid of this one six? If I think about it like this, 15 minus six and one six, what am I going to do to get rid of this one six? How do I do that? I don't wanna get rid of the whole thing. So what are you thinking right now? I'm thinking that we need to divide this up into six equal parts. So if I go one, if I go two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm gonna get rid of one six. How many six have left over if I just get rid of one? Well, I'm left with five, six. So let's count up to see what our answer is. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and five, six. So eight and five, six is my answer. And I want you to think, what did we do with this 15 in order to make this happen? What did we turn this into? I'm going to let you think about that, but notice how we broke this up into um, six equal parts and took away one to get to our final answer.